I'm Alec Sharon, I'm a digital marketing executive here at Kuzai and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the updates we've seen in uh, Google Webmaster Tools uh, over the course of 2011. Um, the four major updates I'm going to focus on are uh, parameter handling, uh, linking to analytics, plus one integration and instant previews. And these are all reflections of what have actually happened in, in search as well. Um, so starting at the top, uh, parameter handling, uh, Webmaster Tools now incorporates uh, a section where you can actually specify uh, how Google handles certain uh, URL parameters. Um, this is particularly useful if you're trying to exclude um, WordPress blog files or, or uh, certain PHP pages that you might not want indexed or, or found in Google. Uh, linking to analytics, uh, this is a really big feature. Um, you can now link uh, your Webmaster Tools account to your Google Analytics account and as a result you can get click-through data and impression data uh, in Webmaster Tools um, on all of your keywords. Uh, so this is a really useful step forward. Uh, plus, one, plus One integration, uh, this is obviously a reflection of the uh, Google Plus One which was brought out in 2011 as well. And here you can see the impact that's had on search and how many plus ones you've gained and, and what sort of activities happened there. Instant previews, uh, another um, uh, 2011 feature. Uh, so you can now see the site previewed by just hovering your mouse over the, the listing in the organic search results. In Webmaster Tools, you can now see uh, what sites will look like and provide suggestions with how to improve that as well. Okay, so that's a summary of what's happened with Google Webmaster Tools. Uh, my name's Alex Sharrett. Uh, if you want to know anything more, uh, please visit our website at www.kuzai.com or uh, follow us on Twitter or Facebook. Um, all the information will be at the bottom of the screen. Thanks. Goodbye.